In space, you can never be too sure because throughout history, it has surprised us a lot. The more advanced we get in terms of technology, the surprises get even more crazy. If you've seen our video about UY Scooty, the biggest star in the world, you'll realize that back then, that was the biggest star known in the universe. But after this clip, it doesn't have that record anymore. And a new monster has been discovered. Stevenson 218. Before we talk about Stevenson 218, let's talk a little about the UI Scooty. This star is nine and a half thousand light years away from us, and it's so insanely large that if you replace the sun in the solar system with it, it will eat Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and it will go stick it to Jupiter. If you want to know what the volume of this star is, five billion suns could fit inside of it. But it seems like this star is no longer the biggest because a new king is in town. Stevenson 218, or the short version, is ST218. It's good to know that this star is also in the Milky Way galaxy like UY Scuti, and it's about 20,000 light years away from us. So in terms of the universe, you could say it's right next door. Astronomers have seen this star from the 90s, but because of cosmic dust, they were not able to analyze it. But at the end of 22, they were able to realize what the true size of this star is. Scientists believe that the radius of this star is one and a half billion kilometers. If you don't know what that is, that's about 10 astronomical units. That's just the radius too. If you want to get the diameter, multiply that by two. The radius of this star is 2,150 times our sun. And if you want to calculate the volume, you could fit 10 billion suns in Stevenson 218. And that's when you can fit 5 billion suns in UY Scuti. So this means if you put Stevenson in the space of the sun, it will eat up Jupiter, Saturn, and then it will go right next to Uranus. Just imagine the size of it. This star is so insanely large that if you want to go around it at the speed of light, it will take you eight and a half hours. So we got this giant star. What kind of a heat does it produce? You might not believe it, but the temperature is about 3200 Kelvin. And meanwhile, our sun is 6000 Kelvin. So obviously a normal star is higher in temperature. Even though this is the biggest star we've found, and it's very close to us, but you can't see it with the naked eye. Astronomers say we could see this star with the naked eye if there wasn't this much cosmic dust in front of it. And it was because of the cosmic dust that it took this long to realize that it's the biggest star. This star is a red supergiant as well. It's good to know that these stars are the biggest stars in the known universe. And even though they're this big, but their density is way lower than a normal star like our sun. You could say Stevenson 218's job is pretty much done. Because when a star turns into a red supergiant, it's not a stable star anymore. It's at the end of its life and it's getting ready for an explosion. An explosion that's called a supernova. Most of the stars in the universe, just like the sun, are going to turn into a red supergiant at the end of their life. And they're going to be way bigger than what they are now. They will burn their hydrogen and this causes them to grow in size. In this case, the star has lived its life and there's no more life left in it. And that's only a few million years. 
this star is gonna get to a point that's gonna get bigger and bigger and it will eat up pretty much every planet that was rotating around it and at the end it's going to reach the supernova So what will happen after the explosion? There will be a giant nebula and the core of the exploded star is gonna turn either to a neutron star or a black hole and that depends on the density. Even being close to red supergiants is very dangerous. Sometimes when a supernova happens in these stars, it's not a normal one. There is a chance that it could be a hypernova. If you're a few light years away from a hypernova or any living thing around it, the hypernova will end life all in that radius. The good news is, none of these red supergiants are close to us. The only star that has a chance of doing this to us is our own star. But that's about 5 billion years away. We have some time to think about it. Just one question, is there any way we could live next to a red supergiant? Physicists believe there's no way we can live around these stars. First of all, we have to be extremely far from this giant so it doesn't eat us up. And the next big problem is that red supergiants give off a lot more radiation than a normal star. So that makes it way more dangerous. If you're far enough where you won't burn up or get eaten up, the radiation will kill you. Let's just say they get rid of the problem of the radiation and it doesn't affect the living things around it. But you only have a few million years because in the end it will go supernova. The planets that are around a red supergiant are extremely unlucky and you could say the end of their life is guaranteed. The most interesting part is that we don't even know if Stevenson 218 has exploded yet. Because even if it has exploded, we can't see it yet. The light has to travel 20,000 years to get to us. And then we can actually find out what happened. And it might have not exploded. These long distances is making us watch the past. And what we see in the sky is back in time.